the photograph we showed you last night that generated such a huge response. It showed a U.S. Army Ranger wounded in Afghanistan. He was thought to be unconscious when they came in to award him the Purple Heart in the hospital, but he started to raise his hand. He struggled with his doctors and his tubing because he was trying to form a salute. Tonight, we want to tell you more about his story, a young man from Cincinnati who has become an emblem for patriotism and resolve. Our report tonight from NBC's Harry Smith. Corporal Josh Hargis's salute brought tears to grown men's eyes. Imagine then what it meant to Josh's wife, Taylor. It moves me to tears. I mean, <laughs> it's, that's, I think that's why it's gotten so much attention, because it, it's moving people. I mean, it's just such an amazing thing that he's done and that he did. It's the salute seen around the world. I was just amazed. I was just overcome with pride. That's my husband. He's an amazing man. Because of a high school injury, Hargis was denied entry into the Army several times. When the Army finally let him in, he blew through basic training and into Ranger School, the Army's elite infantry. Hargis was on his fourth tour of duty in Afghanistan. That salute didn't surprise his comrades. Everyone that knows Josh is not surprised. Um, that's just the kind of man he is. Corporal Hargis and his unit were on a mission southwest of Kandahar when a suicide bomb detonated and a series of IEDs erupted, leaving Hargis and a dozen others injured. Four Americans were killed that day. PFC Cody Patterson, Sergeant Joseph Peters, First Lieutenant Jennifer Moreno, and Sergeant Patrick Hawkins. Taylor Hargis hopes the picture of her husband serves as a reminder. I think it's hard for a lot of people to understand because it doesn't directly affect them. There are a lot of people who don't have anyone in their family in the military and they don't know. Um, they don't know that there's still fights being fought. They don't know that there's still guys coming home injured with life-altering injuries. They don't know that there's still people who are laying their lives on the line and they're not coming home. They've paid the ultimate sacrifice for their country and people don't know. Corporal Hargis is recovering at Brook Army Medical Center in San Antonio, where Taylor has been at his side, together anticipating a blessed event next spring. We're excited. I'm very early in my pregnancy, so it's still very new to us. Um, I feel good. <laughs> Taylor says her husband is in good spirits, that he's a strong guy, that he's doing well, and that they are thankful. I'm very fortunate that he's here. You know, I'm fortunate that he's still alive and that we still get to have our life together. Harry Smith, NBC News. And that is our broadcast on a Wednesday night. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Brian Williams. We, of course, hope to see you right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.